Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens here, and we are in Chiang Rai, Thailand, which is in the very north of the country, and we have just rented a car. We're gonna drive to um, the small town of Me Salong, which is a village in the tea fields. I think it should be about an hour or an hour and a half. And this is our car. So we rented a Toyota Vias. 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 Let's let's roll. Uh, we're gonna try to find a gas station over there to fill up petrol before we get started going. Found the petrol station, and we're just gonna put in a thousand baht. Uh, right now and see how far that gets us. So we just made a turn off on a small little road and we're going to uh, stop off at a tea farm called, what is it called? Lai Cha Chui Fong. Lai Cha Chui Fong. And, whoa, beautiful scenery. Loving this. It's so nice to be in the country and to have a car. So we just arrived at the tea plantation. Gonna do a little stop here. Beautiful, beautiful views. And yeah, really nice. As much as I love coffee, I also love green tea. Uh, so they have a little, a little gift shop right here at the, at the tea, tea farm. So I think we're gonna try to buy some green tea now. Okay, a little, I'm getting a little taste test of the Olong. I need Olong, okay? Olong. Okay. Oh, it has like a little sweetness to it. Okay. This is number 12. Mm. Okay, that has a little bit of a bitterness to it. I ended up buying three bags of tea, and uh, the prices are pretty good. I'm a big fan of tea as well as coffee. And that was a great unplanned stop at the tea field. Very nice tea fields, and also I'm pretty, pretty happy about buying the tea to take home. But now we're back on the road and driving towards Mesalong again. We are very close to the, the border with Myanmar, so we just had a police check. I guess they're just making sure everything is good and we're good to go. But the, the scenery is beautiful. Rolling, rolling fields, there's rice, there's corn, there's tea. We made it to Doi Me Salong and our first step is to find lunch. So we stopped at this restaurant. It's kind of, it's kind of like up on the hill. It's called Im Pochana, no? Oh, this is just like China. <laughs> yes. It looks like we're the first first ones at the restaurant. It's about 11 a.m. So it took from the tea plantation. It took about an hour to drive here because the the road was so windy. Uh, but it was only like maybe 25 or 30 kilometers. It's so good to be here. The, the air is so fresh and it's so much cooler here than, than even in Chiang Rai, but of course much cooler than in Bangkok. Me Salong is a Chinese Yunnanese village uh, in the mountains in northern Thailand and we're very close to Myanmar. So we stopped at the restaurant and ordered up a bunch of amazing food um, and it's, it's Yunnanese style food, but oh man, it's, I can't believe we're even in Thailand actually. Check this out. This is a giant plate of of kamu, which is um, which is uh, pork knuckle stewed up. That looks amazing. And then also uh, manto, which is the steamed steamed bread. We also got fried fried noodles, a big plate of fried noodles. And this is like a tea leaf a tea leaf salad. And then finally, this is. That's like straight fried pork cracklings or something like that. Oh, this food looks amazing. Just look at the size of that pork. 
Ying and I just finished filming a full video about this meal, which I will, I will publish as well. Uh, but this food is awesome. Uh, I think I especially love the, the, the braised pork. The braised pork knuckle is amazing, and it's not, it's not very sweet, but it's just so tender. Um, and then it's served with the, the manto, which is steamed bread. And then also, the, the fried Yunnanese noodles are also outstanding. Really, really good. Tender, so tender. Yay, the cat can go. And there's a cat. <laughs> there's a there's a cat who wants to steal my pork. <laughs> That's so good. Here you go. Hey guy. And then chase it down with the bonto. It's amazing. I want that. I want that. Did I? But it's so soft. It's so soft like a pillow. That lunch was wonderful. I am stuffed. That was so much pork. Uh, but I think we're just gonna walk through the middle of the village and walk through the market of Me Salong. I guess this is sort of the main area of Me Salong. And there's a little market here. Look at these fresh, I think they're uh, sunflower seeds. Those are full sunflowers. This definitely feels like we are not in Thailand anymore. It definitely feels like we're in China here. I'm loving this. Most of this town is filled with tea shops, uh, tea shops and souvenir shops. But there is a coffee, a coffee shop as well called Mesalong, Mesalong Coffee Hut. And after that amount of meat, I am in desperate need of a coffee right now before I continue driving. So they've got a whole... I'm gonna get a Americano iced. We're back in the car now and we're gonna just drive over to the temple right here. We're going to the main... There's a Chinese temple here. We're just gonna go see that. I don't even know if I should drive after eating that big of a meal. From the village, it was like just a 10 minute drive up to the temple, but it was a very steep and winding road. And now we're at the temple, which has a very long name. I don't think I can actually remember it, but it's Pabarom Tat JD Sinakarin. It kind of looks like half Tibetan, half Tibetan, half Thai style. But that view of Mesalong village down there is beautiful and that mountain, that cool mountain breeze is fantastic. Really good, really fresh air. Now we're leaving the temple and this road is awesomely steep. I hope we can make it. Uh, the little Vios, Toyota Vios. Salong, and we're driving towards uh, Doi, Doi Tung, which is a, a garden in the mountain, and it's a famous place to visit near Chiang Rai, uh, and it should be beautiful. So we have about 15 more kilometers to go to get there, but the scenery is great. Okay, so we made it to Doi Tung, and this is kind of a, a royal, it's a royal palace and a, a garden, and kind of a whole so the first place we're supposed to go check out is the Hall of Inspiration. We just finished walking through the Royal Palace and really beautiful, made from teak wood and pine wood. And it was like a, it's like a, a really, really nice log cabin, beautiful views 
and from the from the balcony you can uh, see the mountains are actually or the biggest mountain is in Myanmar so really nice view great air and they give us this audio walking tour but unfortunately I couldn't take any video or photos inside just outside I'm walking through the Royal Gardens very beautiful very peaceful and really some amazing flowers that's a very nice place uh, the gardens are really nice the palace is really nice and you can buy there's plenty of souvenirs uh, but I think we're gonna start driving back towards Chiang Rai it's about almost probably 5 p.m. now so we're gonna start heading back so we made it back to Chiang Rai uh, that was a lot of fun to take a day trip to rent a car and then take a day trip to Doi Salang uh, really an awesome highlight for me was definitely the Yunani's lunch and the, just the the views the mountain air the the beauty was very fun and also just driving this car was a lot of fun so had an awesome day thank you for watching this video hope you enjoyed it please remember to give it a thumbs up leave a comment below uh, and huge thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next on the next video and now Ying is out we just stopped by the side of the road and Ying is buying a few snacks